hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be going house hunting to find the perfect family house for me and i'm super excited for that as we speak i am in front of our first house that we are going to look at and it looks amazing it looks super nice and i'm super happy about it it's like very brownish pastel minimalistic as from the outside only i haven't seen the inside but i'm very excited to look at it so this is how the house looks like from the outside it is very nice i love the fencing on it super amazing but it's like weird but i love the privacy you know everything about it is nice this is the front yard i like it it is very nice kind of plain it could be like i don't know it could be changed a little bit like oh my god wait why are there so many like halloweeny fallish things i don't know that scares me it's summer but I guess they're ready for fall. I like it. So moving on to the inside of the house. This is the entrance. I love the entrance. I love how there is a phone there. But overall the entrance is nice. Again, Halloween candy might be expired but it's fine. I love how there is a mirror right at the entrance of the house. The little storage area. It looks nice. Very nice. Moving in. This is a little like seating reading area cozy reading area i guess it is nice very nice I, I think this is everything i ever imagined in a house like a little cozy seating area like you wake up and then you have your morning coffee while reading it's a dream you know and again i can see so many halloween related things it's fine i don't really mind it okay so this is the office i love the office i love how there's like pops of bright pink I probably would have to remove those but it looks very nice it's super small though I would love a little bit more space but I love how there's a little like dedicated storage area it looks nice there's a mirror as well you can always look at the mirror and see how you're looking because you always look gorgeous but overall I like the office it's small but other than that it's very nice I love how it's not as detailed but it's still nice Okay, so this is the dining area. I love the dining area. It's simple, but it's not simple. That makes sense. It's still decorated, but it's not, you know? It looks nice. I, like, the pumpkin near the light still bothers me. Anyways, this is another reading area. Probably too many reading areas, but it's fine. This one still looks amazing. Very cozy. I like it. This is the kitchen. I am in love with the kitchen. I love how almost everything is white and the like uh, appliances are like pop of colors. I think that's amazing. This is the pantry. Oh my god. Again, Halloween stuff and flashlights. I love the flashlights but the Halloween stuff, like I said, it's totally okay. They are ready for fall early. I love that. But I like the kitchen as well. I love how there's so many pops of colors. This is the guest room. I, I like the guest room. It's very nice. It is very small though, but other than that, the guest room is amazing. It's it's perfect for a guest room, like small, but still decorated. I love how there's TV as well. Very nice, very nice. This is the living room. The living room is actually very small. I think it could have been so much more bigger. They should have sized up, but it's fine. You know, I love how there's a fireplace. I love the pops of browns and like browns and pastels together. I think that just, it just goes so well together. It looks very nice and there's rotten pizza there. Probably the worst thing of the house, but it's fine. The little photo wall is amazing as well. I think everything just, you know, it matches, it matches. Very nice. So I think this door le leads to the garage. Yes. And there's a laundry room. Very nice, straight to the point. Perfect. Everything you need in a house. Everything should be straight to the point. Now, let's go ahead and go to the backyard. Because, okay, maybe not the backyard. I see another door here. This is the bathroom. I love the bathroom. It is very cluttered. But, I don't know. I think, like, the bathroom should be cluttered. I don't know. Just something about it speaks amazing to me. But, overall, I love the bathroom. It is very small. But, like, who wants a ginormous bathroom? Like, what would you do with that space? i don't know personally i just love a small simple bathroom this is the master bedroom i'm kind of sad that this is the master bedroom it's so small like it's genuinely very small it's not detailed at all 
the nightstands bother me i just want to throw, throw them out of the window but it's nice it's simple it's nice probably would just change the nightstands and other than that the room is perfect it's simple it's perfect it's a master bedroom like i'm not going to put books toys in this room right it's just should be bed okay this is a little walkway to the backyard it looks very nice it just speaks cozy you know it speaks cozy it's nice okay so this is a little glass room right before the backyard it looks very nice but now there's a christmas tree here first the pumpkins now the christmas tree what am i missing for now like we have all seasons here perfect all in one everything i want you know you know i like the christmas tree here but those pumpkins inside the house i don't know if they matched i would actually keep this christmas tree over here because i personally love christmas so i don't mind keeping that but i'm super excited to go ahead and check out the backyard so let's go ahead and do that this is the backyard there's a swing set i'm pretty sure there was a swing set outside or was there not i don't remember anyways i love this little pastel seating area near the pergola it looks very nice super cozy like outside having a little barbecue session amazing now let's go ahead and move on to our second house which is as amazing as this one honestly actually hopefully i haven't seen it okay so i am in front of the second house it's amazing it speaks modern very nice it's like a modern farmhouse that you will find near a deserted area i don't know it just it's it feels like that you know i love how there's no gardening it just fits the house personally for me but i would actually add gardening though i'm super excited to go ahead and check out the inside of the house i love the glass door very nice this is the entrance of the house i i think it's very plain but other than that i love the house over here is a little seating area with a fireplace come on there's a fireplace this the fireplace just makes the area 10 out of 10 because everything with the fireplace is cozy and i love cozy like you know doing your work here with the fireplace on that is a dream come true for me honestly now let's go ahead and go into the living room the living room is kind of like all white like shades of white browns it's nice and i like how the little plant holders are the pop of colors like one is yellow and i think one's blue yeah and it's nice i don't hate it it is very nice it's simple it's nice like why do you want maybe i don't want a luxurious living room but i'm very happy with one thing luxurious this is the kitchen and dining area i love the kitchen one word i love it it's like the pop of color of the house you know it, that one color the house needs is this one i am in love with the blue counters i don't know it just it feels like this is what the house needed for it to be 10 out of 10 and i would actually love to buy this house only because of the kitchen because come on who doesn't love that area and the dining room again i love it the little pictures behind it is amazing you know it speaks modern amazing everyone loves modern you know now let's go ahead and go on to the garage i think yeah this is the garage and there's also a laundry area here but this one is just a little bit more detailed which is nice you know it looks amazing it's super small but i think they used like they used the space wisely i like it let's go ahead and go to the bathroom first because i want to check out the bathrooms first those are boring places to be okay this is the bathroom i think this is the guest bathroom i'm not quite sure but this house does not have a mirror sorry not the house this bathroom does not have a mirror that's kind of it's kind of bad honestly even if it's a guest bathroom it needed a mirror now let's go into this room okay i think this is a teen's room or a kid's room it is amazing i love it it's probably like a teen like i don't know like a teen tiktoker that makes sense like a teen who's a tiktoker just i don't know it speaks that i love the little cartoon pictures in the background it speaks winter i love winter again i like how this room is just glassy it's like there's so many windows it it just looks open okay i think this is another teen's bedroom or just like a kid's bedroom it's amazing i love how like there's a study area here like i think this room is smaller than the other one but it's the, it's like so much more detailed 
it's always the smaller room that end up being more detailed but overall i love this room more than the other one just because it's small but they use the space wisely again i'm so excited to check the last room of the house because it is going to be the master bedroom aka my room even though i don't own the house i am still excited to check it out this is the master bedroom and omg i love the sage green it's very nice very earthy it speaks earth it's very nice i love it and i would actually stay here and sleep here like it's like you're sleeping in nature amazing and there's also a bathroom there so let's go and check that out because i'm super excited to have a bathroom of my own like amazing and it is like 10 times smaller than the other one but this one has a mirror that's the only difference that this one has a mirror and mirrors are nice you know i love mirrors but again this bathroom is so 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 cluttered like it's like 10x cluttered i like it you know it's not the end of the world i can just remove some things but now let's go ahead and check out our last house which is the third house and again this one like the people said that this the third house is going to be a mansion i don't know if i have that much money but i am ready to check it out i am at our last destination which is the third house and it's it's totally like a mansion it's amazing it's huge and there's gardening there is gardening amazing like come on this is the only house that has good gardening and i'm happy with that okay this is the front yard it is huge there's a fountain there's a swing set there's a hot inflatable there's a little sand area sandbox area for the kids to play and there's a seating area but it is sadly blocked by the tree but you know what the front yard is like it's amazing it's not disappointing at all not even one percent this is the like the entrance of the house amazing very detailed very pastel everything is amazing about it honestly again halloween candy scares me because halloween was eight months ago i think but other than that the house is amazing i love how there's a little seating area right next to this hexagon window like i love how there's like sunflowers outside of it it just gives me happiness you know bright colors like pastel but bright colors if that makes sense i know that now let's go on to the living room it is and can i just say i don't like the living room at all like it's nice i love how there's little like a little cozy area next to the mirror like but something about this living room just it just feels odd honestly it feels very odd i don't know it just feels like it's lacking something i don't know it's a good size though it's not like it's a bad size it's a good size but i don't think they like i don't know they just didn't decorate it nicely like it's missing something but i don't know what but it's fine now we can ignore that and let's go on to the next room which is a little cozy seating area i guess next with the fireplace i guess i don't know how i feel about this one as well but it looks nice you know it does not look horrible at all like you know it's cluttered nice okay this okay this i guess is a little workstation study area office area very small but come on i think this is perfect okay this is the garage yes okay i love how there's a storage area in the garage the other two houses did not have it amazing and i love how they oh my god i like how they stored their halloween christmas decorations over there amazing okay this is the laundry room and oh my god a pink laundry room come on that's everything i ever dreamt of maybe not but i would just love a whole like you know just a whole room pink and this fill, 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 oh my god, fulfills my dreams. Like, okay, if if I were to buy this house, this would be the reason for it, okay? Just a pink room and there's pink light as well. Come on, if you like pink, you would buy this area as well. Sorry, buy the house, oh my god. Like, it's amazing, everything I dreamt of. Moving on to the guest room. And the guest room is huge, it is amazing. It's like bohemian but pastel, like... I don't know it looks very nice i like how there's a tv as well like do all guest rooms have tv and not the actual bedrooms i don't know seems very odd to me because the, none of the master bedrooms have tv but the guest rooms do like why are you treating the guests better than yourself 
that is rude and they also have a bathroom it is very nice it's like i don't know it speaks summer for some reason it's like summery it's open i like it this is the kitchen i love the little study area here as well i like how there's so many study areas by the way like you know if you have like a million kids this is perfect and there's a little dining area as well the kitchen on its own is amazing it's like very christmasy honestly and i like it you know there's nothing wrong with it obviously but the kitchen is nice there's carrots growing everything you want you know amazing 10 out of 10 okay moving on to i think this is a kids room i don't let toys and there is another study area this is probably one of my favorite study areas i like how there's pictures and anyways this is the bathroom like omg it's perfect it's amazing not too cluttered not too small perfect size for a bathroom this i think is another kids room again more study areas amazing very nice i like everything about it it's like giving red light it's like a ready light room but it's nice and they also have their own bathroom amazing this bathroom seems to be a little bit smaller sorry bigger than the other one but i don't know it's not too cluttered i think it could have been a little bit more cluttered okay this is the master bedroom like i said master bedrooms lead only to disappointments because this is one huge disappointment i like the bed area but the entrance no this is the bathroom again the bathroom is again very odd sized i don't know it's like an l i wouldn't like even i wouldn't have decorated and that's why it's kind of weird but thankfully i am done with house hunting for the day i've seen already so many houses but i think i know which one i want it's one of from these three but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye